Or if it's a new planet, you can put on the one that makes building cheaper. That's what I just did for Earth. You did, uh... What is it? Uh, land of Opportunity? No. Uh, and Earth no, is... the infrastructure projects. Oh, oh, the nucleus declared war on somebody. Yep. Infrastructure product. They project. are... Okay. They're a protectorate. That didn't call in the, uh... Weird. The other the other guys might be at war. Right? Uh, I don't think so. If the... I, I know the AI won't join a war if they're already at war. But it's... I mean, it, it's a protectorate. They should just do it by default. You mean the nucleus is a protectorate or in a no. protectorate? No. No, the, they're attacking a protectorate. The Zadrin Union. Uh, the Zadrin, the, the guys that they're attacking are protectorate under the Zadrin Union. Ah. So the Zadrin Union is just letting them get attacked. For some reason. Apparently. Oh, what's this? System server uh, complete. More wars. Uh, what does military... Oh, mi uh, that's for military stations. Uh, not really that great. Military stations aren't great unless you're doing hyperlane. They're still good. Um, because... I guess if you build them around your planets, yeah. Well, I mean, because they can force the uh, um, AI to... Uh... Are fortresses any good? Because I've gotten that pop up a few well, times. Well, yeah, I mean, you you want to if you're going to build you them, the then you want to build those rather than the weaker ones. You want you need fortresses to get the the void born ascended sea perk. But the uh, um, I mean, you can use them to defend uh, existing things. You know, your own your your Space worlds. Under attack. Uh, ooh, uh, asteroid sighted. Situation. I need to go take care of that. Um, so you want to use them to defend your stuff. Uh, you want to use them to... You know, if there are places where you think the AI will jump in, you want to put them there. You know, protect yourself against uh, uh, roaming cats. Yes! I must protect myself from the roaming oh, kitty. Shield. Yet. It's funny because I am cats in this game. Oh yeah. Uh... Let's go upgrade my fleet for once. New colony. Start with one population. I'm gonna need that when I get start building um habitats. System survey complete. Construction complete. I am sitting on oh, a pile right of back. energy, so I think I need to uh, clear some. T I'll slow it down a bit. So I have the uplift tech. How does that work? Uh, if there are uh, pre sentients, you can uplift them, and they will just join your empire as a another pop. Um, yeah, but they're already on the planet. Yeah, they they have to be already on the planet. And they, they have to be pre so not, uh, uh... Primitives. primitives. Oh, hey, I just got my third faction. The Sino well, Liberty can I Party. Can just a, uh, a primitive world and take it over? Um, you can. Are you slavers, or are you what? I mean... I'm a military a dictatorship. How do you... Are, are you xenophobic, z xenophile? Xenophile. Um, you could invade them. They would be crappy pops for a while until they they got over the fact that you invaded them. Well, I um, plan to migrate these birds over there that are desert focused. But if they, uh, I mean, if they are a pop that stand. likes your type of stuff, then they may become productive members of society eventually. Otherwise, they could be, you know, <coughs> rebellious and stuff like that. Well, I have... I've been ha having a, uh... 
one of my ships kind of try. I have the observation post over it, indoctrinating them. Where is? Um, I mean, I don't know. I'd no. have to look at what what you've got going on. Passive study. Like that, but... Yes. I mean, it might not be a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll do that, and I can ship off those birds off of the Savannah planet over there. Um, yeah, I really guess I'm, I might as well start grabbing terraforming. Because they're really unhappy on the current planet, and I don't want to deal with that unhappiness. Yeah. Uh, let me look at the Xeno Liberty Party I again. I'll, I think I'll put together an army to take care of that. I mean, you can also, I mean, you can just let them, uh, um, you know, uh, do the infiltration. The infiltration is pretty good. Oh, All I'm refuse. To, let's oh. see. Fine. I need Dean tailoring. I have to have active native studies. And I have to have all this stuff that I don't have. Okay. I mean, remember, it's a, you know, it counts towards your planetary total and everything like that. I don't care if, if okay. it does. I just want to make I, sure that you're not at your I'm at four or, or five. Okay. So I'm just going to get together a couple armies and smash them. Generated. Keep encountering primitives. <laughs> I mean, considering that I turned up the uh, number of primitives that would show up, makes sense. Also, if I take it over, it gives me another staging point for when I uh, eventually attack that neighboring mm. race. Settling on a tomb will uh, settling on a tomb will upset one of my factions. Oh yeah, that's gonna do that. Oh, you're spiritualist, right? Yeah. Yep, spiritualists hate that. Because they're they're considered graves. Yeah, you might want to consider moving away from. Uh... I'm more pacifist than spiritualist, and I'll probably embrace. Uh, I'll probably go towards more xenophile ideas. Okay, I'm going to embark those. I have an ironing network, please. Do I have any more systems to build in? I might be able to get rid of one of my... One of my construction ships, if I don't, uh, as one. Alright, time to fight some uh, crystalline entities. Alright, I'm going to disband one of my construction ships. I no longer need two. They don't cost anything, just keep them in, uh... I could do a technological enlightenment. System I'm almost uplifted another species. Technical, er, in... Technological enlightenment will turn them into a, uh, a protectorate under you, which will get you um, extra influence. Might be worthwhile. Yeah, I think I'll actually do but that. But you cannot, you cannot integrate a protectorate, whereas you can't... Right, no, but they, 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 will eventually they will eventually become a vassal, though. No, they start out as a vassal, because that's what I did. No, uh, the primitives... Sorry, warriors! The, the primitives become um, protectorates, and once they get enough tech, then they turn into vassals, and then you can integrate them. Uh, they became my vassals. They were, as then soon they as were I, close I enough. They were close enough in your them. tech to, uh, um, to be considered vassals. And you can integrate them. Ah, I can integrate them now. Excellent. It'll take me 50 months to fully integrate them. Alright, well this is taking a big chunk out of my uh, fleet. Unfortunately. Guess I know what I'm spending my next mineral batch on. There we go. Go repair. Actually, that might not be a good idea. Uh, you know what? I have an exemption perk available. 
I'm just gonna grab, uh, what is it? You have an Ascension perk that you haven't spent yet? Yeah, because I wanted to get Voidborn, but you know what? At this point, I'm gonna unlock the next one before I need it. So I'll just grab f f five more Cord Wars Ascension. Four Worlds Ascension perks, so I won't have to worry about it. Because Voidborn's unlock. Voidborn unlocks habitats. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. That's not what I wanted. Science ship under attack. Oh, jeez. Uh, sorry. Um, I apparently have uh, just triggered uh, a failure, and uh, my science ship is under attack. Uh, one day. What? Okay, my science ship is okay. My science ship got attacked. I failed on a uh, on an anomaly with five percent failure risk, of course. All right, oh dear. Sorry. Research complete. Yeah, it could be worse. Are you blowing up one of my uh, stations? They don't seem to be. They, they, it looks like they're just sitting around doing nothing. There was some pirates that popped up or something. But luckily they did not kill my scientist. Construction complete. System survey complete. Okay, I get another ascension perk. More declared. Uh. Yeah, I took. Uh, um, I'm Imperial almost at prerogative. my third ascension perk. What are you? <laughs> yeah, but you you produce unity like it's water. <laughs> I, I I won't disagree with that. These guys want to give me energy credits for minerals. I have 17k minerals. Fine. Go ahead. I will do that. <laughs> How many minerals are you getting? No, they were giving me energy credits for minerals. It's like, sure, I have 17k minerals. Oh, I don't care. How much are you getting right now? I'm just curious. Oh, minerals are 213. Oh, okay. So what does Consecrated Worlds do? It probably um, allows you to inhabit two tomb worlds without a with a without a problem. After you consecrate it. Um, I don't know. It seems like a spirit is only a ascension perk. Hmm. No, I don't want to share star shards. I guess I'll go for mastery of nature so I can just clear tile blockers without having to do the research. That can be useful. <laughs> Do you have a... Uh, you could probably get Void Barring at your stage. I didn't see that one. Hmm. Don't you have... Oh, wait, you didn't research fortresses yet, did you? Nope. Never mind, then. You need fortresses and and, and level 6 spaceports to do, be able to do that. Told you those well, battle ships. Su suicidal. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's good times. It's good times. Yeah, research agreement, sure. Upgrading. I probably need uh, bigger batteries is why I'm having so much issues with my ships right now. I'm trying to decide if I want to... Yeah, I think I will go ahead and start colonizing this. Um... I'm not getting bigger batteries though, damn it. Uh, search research. But since I'm insisting on ser researching, to be honest, I should probably get a third science ship going. You know what? I will. Oh yeah, I've had three for a while. In fact, I'd consider going Actually, up to four. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Four. Because when you're when you're done with them, then uh, you can just uh, uh, you know when there's nothing else to survey, you can just. 
pop them up. It's, oh, it's morphogenetic research. field mastery! I can make xenomorph armies. They're pretty good. Yeah, I think I'll go for that research. Um. Research office. agreement, or not? Uh, in in immigration agreement. Sure, they they inhabit different planets than me, so it should matter. Oh hey, my neighbors, the Kravadox Authority, are going to war against the Galactic Elaminid uh, hierarchy. The big guys. I got my that second I vassal. Ah, uh, these guys are still xenophobic. They're superior. Oh well. I'll vassalize them eventually. I'm gonna try taking on the frickin' core of the core of the System. I'm taking on the fucking um whatchamacallit minor drone guys yeah good luck not even sure where they where those are in your in your space they're the only planet inside my space that I have not been able to research or survey. <laughs> yeah, I just took so out some probably... uh, crystalline entities in uh, Kochab. New colony ship is out. Going to colonize. It'll take me up to eight systems. Costs me as many minerals to uh, clear tile blockers as it does to build a robot. It's kind of annoying. Quantum destabilizers! Those are always good to prevent enemy ships from fleeing. Actually, rather than doing automatic research, I'm going to do get you to do the find these species. Uh, my leader died. Finally. Finally? Why is that a finally? It's the first time they've died. Uh, yeah, but why is that a finally? You must have hated his leader. No, I just said oh, it just took them that long to die. Kind of thing. Do, 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 do. Death to all these drones. I need I need more minerals. Oh, so I have not even researched. I have not even been able to find Batharian stuff yet. Lasers aren't that great against uh, armor ships, so I'm pretty sure I'm good. Um, I think we're okay. I think. Or are they not good against shields? I can't remember. Uh, I'm tearing lasers, them apart. Anyway. Lasers do less damage against shields. Oh, well, I have both, so. I just remember mining drones have lasers. Well, mining drones also kind of suck. I mean. Yeah, I'm, I'm just getting around to annihilating them because the freaking processing hubs at 2.5k on its own. Oh dear god, it keeps producing them. <laughs> Construction complete. That's alright, I'm killing them pretty quickly. Boom. Come on, minerals, come on. I need more of you. 
Get in my coffers. I'm trying to queue up all the robots that I can. And my nice size 25 natural beauty uh, uh, savannah world that uh, we can't really appreciate the aesthetics of it. But we're highly interested in uh, why the trees are so widely spaced. That's because he, people haven't been planting them, planting trees there so damn close together and not letting forest fires do the work. Why, why would you plant trees? That, that, that makes no sense. We plant trees for oxygen. Well, no, what, I what mean... What is this oxygen in... that you need? Okay, <laughs> oxygen is one of the many elements, and it's... And it's needed for people to breathe, which allows them to function, like how energy allows machines to function. Oh, the uh, thing that, that, that makes fire burn. Gotcha. That too. Uh, a carbon-based life form. Neat. You gotta remember, carbon, there are other types of life forms that don't need, needs. Please. Technically, I think I'm, I would be considered silicon-based life form here. Mm, I don't think so, because uh, the silicon life form implies that you need to breathe, eat, sleep, and all that sort of things. So are you saying that, that we're not alive? You are not alive, you're a I, machine. I, I think that, I think them's fighting words. I think I might have to destroy <laughs> you guys. That is... I, I feel highly offended by this. Okay, you are technically alive by the strictest definition of it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Having a nice day? <laughs> I've got a cat who's trying to get into my chairs in any way he can. What, you mean uh, Yeldon species? <laughs> no, smaller. Oh, so a baby Yeldon species. <laughs> G-Man species. No, no, I think this guy's an old man. My cat is very old. Uh, so, I want... I'll have all of my worlds building robots, and then I will be happy. Do you think you'll ever be really happy? Do you even feel emotions? I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, learning everything that there is to know about everything in the uh, universe does actually make us feel quite content. Is that because you actually feel, or is that because you just feel content for satisfying your programming? Mm, that's a good question. I will get back to you when I know the answer. <laughs> I'm not going to ask those questions. You can ask all those questions as you want. You know, then I'm not pissing off the robot. I'm planning to go fight a robot eventually. I don't want to make the one that likes me hate me. Yeah, they're bad robots. They're rude. I mean, they want to exterminate life rather than study it. Or, you know, kick it off the world and take it for themselves. <laughs> uh, That's kind of studying. You're studying how they deal with it. Let's see. I, I I honestly love the um, the the spirit literalist voice. It's like the spirits have granted us new wisdom. And I got a question: Weren't you supposed to change games by now? Um, around now, but I'm having fun. I mean, if you guys are having fun, I don't mind continuing. Yeah, I'm fine. Bit. I can keep going. For I was just asking if you were still planning on doing that or not. Yeah, I'm still planning on it. Right. These guys back in orbit. Gug. Research oh. complete. Oh, hey, I could get a planetary shield generator. Oh, I'm stronger than the nucleus now. They're, uh, they're, apparently their, their power is pathetic. They might be losing their war. 
Uh, although, actually, their fleet power is equivalent, their naval capacity and technology level are inferior. So, they are... Falling behind in the tech race. Yeah. Well, you know what this means. I mean, it's, it's, you're not going to need our help? Probably not. So, I'm going to... I'm going to build up my fleet some, and then... You are considered stronger than they are. Um, and I think the and... relative power does look primarily at uh, fleet strength. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to build up my fleet a bit. But can you get to then... them? Oof. 63. I have to cross Maybe. through the, uh, the Livus Empire, but I'm in positive relationship with them. And I don't have a border closed with them. So I can go through their space and get to them. Okay, so you, oh, the the Lavis Empire has not. No, we're still have open borders. We're on positive relationship. Okay. Oh, they have a they have a ruined ring world in their space. What the? The Lavis. These guys. The Great Lavis Empire. Oh. That's probably okay. Oh, I just. Uh, so that's kinetic... the... that's... I can get kinetic batteries. Uh... One second. I I hear a dog in pain. <laughs> he's not in pain. He's just upset. That well, if I'm going to do this, because my I'm grandpa build just up an army. My grandpa just left to go visit a friend, and he's upset. Ah, crap. I probably shouldn't have done that yet. If I'm doing this, I need to start building up an army. An assault army. Hey. Aha! Fortress tech! Yes! Need that. I saw that it was colonizing the world, and I cancelled my, uh, um... System survey uh, I integrated them. Can I integrate these guys now? I, I destroyed my, uh, uh, frontier outpost in that system, and I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> I think you're probably gonna... Oh. Now I need like another five years before I can start integrating these guys. So if I'm gonna have an army, that means I need a general. Construction complete. Should I get the logistic logistin to get rid of to deal with the army upkeep or get one of these uh invaders? I have never actually found uh the uh generals to be particularly useful, to be honest. System survey. Uh, I figured I may as well give them one. Uh, I mean, it's entirely up to you. I, I just... I, I find that uh, overbuilding on armies uh, tends to be... Crawl, that's quite enough. Especially if you're going to be... Uh, um... Oh. Uh, I found the Pirate Haven. Um, I, I just find that, that just building lots of uh, armies tends to be better. One of the things I'm currently researching is the kinetic battery. Because I want... Is the kinetic battery the super weapon? It is the... Uh, X-sized weapon? The L-sized no. weapon for the mass drivers. Oh, L-sized. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's good. That's a good one. X size is the biggest size you can get. Well, you can yeah. do up to 218 damage. But the uh, uh, the L size has a very long range on it. And I completely missed where that. The X size, I believe it. Well, I think yeah. System survey complete. It's got like 110 uh, range on it, or one 100. The uh, kinetic battery. Uh, temple. <sighs> and a new tile blocker to get rid of eventually. Now that I'm at the point that I'm literally like have so much minerals I don't know what to do with and energy as well. Where is my contact? 
Empires. Uh, let's get rid of Empire. Artisan Troop. Communicate. Ah, the, Patron. Okay. Uh, deal. Federation of Pekka Gear gave me open borders for some reason. Commission and Art Peace. Then we're closed. Uh, they might have. Uh... It's a deal. Decide they like you better than someone that you hate or something like that, or decide they hate someone that you also hate. Okay, where the hell uh, is what am I going to replace for an art monument? Sure. Okay, I think I'm good to declare war on these guys. I don't mind. First I don't mind sacrificing. I don't mind sacrificing um, one mineral for more unity. Because the thing is, is the more planets you have, the more unity cost things get. <laughs> yep. So you have less planets than I do, so you don't need nearly as much antimatter. Yes, please. Oh, I can vassalize the savants if I take these guys out, but that's a large war score. Incoming transmission. Vassalizations. Forcibly vassalizations generally meh. Okay, I'm going to make these guys give me planets then. I'm just going to do work on research project with this with my fourth science vessel. No, this guy's inside my board, so I can build things. Yeah, let's see, it's about time to uh, upgrade some of these uh, buildings that I've been sitting on. These tiles that haven't been upgraded. That's basically what I've been doing all the time for a while now. I didn't really have the minerals to do so. Play that tile blocker. Now that I can. I was queuing up a lot of uh, uh, robots and everything like that. And I still. You're also want building up your fleet pretty yeah. big at one point. Well, I'm still trying. Uh, it's only 69 System out of 118 complete. fleet capacity, so. Construction complete. The thing is, is if we do form a federate, it's going to, like, cut into our fleet capacity. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's not going to be that much. I mean, you can just do some things to boost it fairly quickly, so. Construction Wait, how strong is it? Oh, God, the Savants are in there, too. Situation log. Wait, what? Apparently, they they have a defensive with the savants. Oh, oh, oh! I decided not to do it at okay. the very last moment. Good. Although they're at war with the uh, the synthoids right now, so military academy. Do you want to make this my military producing world? Yeah, but the bottom of the thing, it says that if I did it, then the Savants would join in. Yeah. Right, but they might not actually do anything because they're at, currently at war. Yeah, see if they're I at war. I don't risk it. No, the AI will not enter another war if they're already at war. Well, no, but if they're in a defensive pact, it doesn't matter. They'll be in the war regardless. They, they don't have a choice. Uh, yes, they do. No, they don't. Oh, and I, I was in a de defensive pact to get with an AI. I got the option to say no. No. What does this do? Oh, crap. Yeah. I want more tire. I want that last tire blocker. More tire blocker research. Oh. Well. There goes all my buzz. What? I said there goes all my buzz. What do you mean? Like, I, I was so hyped up to go kick robot butt, and then I realized, oh god. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. 
yeah, that can be uh, really annoying. And oh my lord, this planet has a ton of uh, tile blockers. I was not paying that much attention. Well, I could build another military academy here. Why not? Why limit my recent my military production to one planet? It's not really a good idea anyway. Research complete. Oh, I got people giving me energy credits now for nothing. That's always nice. Mm-hmm. Hold on. I got the I I'm doing the reset the thingy where you collect all the alien a animal species. You know what? I made these armies. I'm gonna go and uh, attack that planet that I was starting to do that whole and make them enlightened. I'm just gonna go there and just attack them because I'm bored. <laughs> I can get the probability engine. Energy credits was 10%. Wait. Native interference does not allow that. Did you find the frickin' infinity orb? Nope, it's just a rare tech. Oh. Oh, I can't do that unless I'm not a xenophile. And because I am a xenophile, I can't do that. Dang it. Mm -hmm. You can change your policy, but your xenophile faction won't like it. Yeah. No, I can't change the policy because my race is xenophile. Ah. Uh. Well, I mean, you can just conquer them then. No, it won't let him do that, is what he's saying. Oh, right, because it's xenophile, not xenophobe. Sorry, sorry, yeah. Um, then I would say... Then I'm going to keep going with the Enlightenment, and then... Integrate them at some point. Yeah, then you can eventually integrate them. Sorry, I was distracted planning out buildings. And planning out... Oh god, all the uh, tile blockers that I need to clear. <laughs> Holy cow, I just realized that this world that I just colonized has two Batharian stone. That is sweet. I recently got Power Plants 3. So I can upgrade everything. You know, the home world tends to be like one of the worst worlds you have. Mm. Not really i mean you can replace stuff well true but it's like it's got the smallest it's got like one of the smaller spaces unless you purposely get even smaller oh yeah well i i i colonize like everything yes I can. you're a robot well i mean uh i look strategically um i colonize worlds oftentimes based on where they are and stuff like that too oh I could get psionic theory. Are you spiritual? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys are both spiritual? That will be uh, ironic to join a federation with me, a robot. It's like, huh. So you're a robot. What do you believe in? Robots. You don't believe in a god? Robots. BD, BD, BD. What's up, Buck? And then we both turn against you at some point. I mean, you could try it. You'd probably have a lot more territory than both of us. I'm trying to find you. Um, oh, it's not the Enlightened Kingdom. I'm ever seen. I'm like straight north of you.
Oh, I found you. I'm not that big. Hey, you got a pretty big place. Uh, the uh, Confederated Clans and oh, the Shazari Link, or the Shazarak Link, Obadan Authority. Those guys are bigger than me. Um, Sovereign Menjethi Commonalities. That guy's pretty big. I'm really tiny. I mean, my problem is that I've split off uh, a, a section from another section of mine, and the uh, uh, Chlorvinsarian Confederated Clans could cut me off. Interestingly enough, they kind of like me despite being spiritualist, so... Apparently, uh, one of our... Apparently, uh, G-Man has something weird in the middle of his territory. Yeah, he has a vassal. He's got... Well, he had two vassals, but I think he integrated one. Seems like his vassal doesn't like me. Ooh, Hyperspace 3. I want that. Oh my god, 107 months. That is... Crazy. That is unfortunate. You're gonna be stuck on that for a while. Yup. Yup. A little bit. A little bit of time. Was there things. anything else that you would uh, prefer? Um, probably not that I would prefer. I mean, anything else that would be probably faster? Oh, there's a lot of things that would be faster. I just don't think there was anything else that I would prefer. Hmm. Faster like how I'm going for the side good. warriors, which is gonna take 75 months. I must teach my people to to at least their third eye. Uh, no demands were enforced between the uh, nucleus and the Zadrian Union. So they finished their fight. Yep. Great. Uh, let's see. The. Yeah, the Nucleus has that uh, defensive pact. Unfortunate. And the Jonas Savants are the most powerful in the galaxy. Uh, other than the Fallen what? Empires. Which is why I don't want to fight the Jonas Savants. Yep. No, no, I understand that. <laughs> they're going to kill me if I go against their ally. Good. Decreasing pop upkeep. That is always good. And the Republic of Savixk. Made peace with the Kravadox Authority. Stop I'm atrocities and destroy a frontier outposts. To go put something up. Uh, I don't need to pause. I'm just gonna. I want some of these things to progress. Do you want me to slow it down? No, I want some of my text to keep going. Okay. Have you been saying anything, G-Man? Because I haven't heard you say anything. You might be muted. Uh, Messer God on Izar Prime. Uh, right here? Yeah, I'm gonna be moving it there, uh, but since this is five right now, I'm gonna wait until I can actually upgrade it, and then just demolish this and build the, uh, uh replacement. So, uh, I'm just waiting until I get more, you know, more pops built. Ooh, good. I can upgrade that. So much worthless food being worked. Work that. Work that. Build some more robots. Okay, I'm back. All right. Construction complete. I got a candy bar. Mmm, leftover from Halloween. It's a Reese's chocolate bar. 
Right, but is it a leftover from Halloween? Yeah, I bought it for myself because I, I was planning to experiment ah, okay. with s'mores. I was just curious. I'm getting 111 uh, uh, energy now, I just noticed. That's pretty good. There's deep space stations. Do I... No, I guess I'll go I'm for getting 43. Ouch. 43 energy. 43, not 3. Yeah. It's good. It's better than what I was at, a, like, an hour ago. Yeah, that's fair. You know what, I should probably upgrade the spaceports. Let's blow minerals on upgrading spaceports. That seems like a great idea. System survey Whoa. I think okay. that's Yeldon's mic. Yeah. Okay, my headphones are basically dead at this point, so... Okay, I can still hear you guys, but <laughs> I can't talk. If you push, uh, there's a chat log that I've been typing in. You didn't notice that, so that's why I booted up my headphones off the charger. Uh, n oh, uh, it has not Headphone been showing side, up. Headphones I think I have the most land. Headphones dead. I see it. Nope, that's not it. What's the uh, button to bring that up? Not that. Uh, look at the bottom right. And you'll see multiplayer chat ne next to the question mark. Next to the help button. Oh. oh, yeah. Okay. Construction complete. Hadn't even noticed that. Yeah, I think I'll go for a little bit longer. Um... I mean, I'm having fun, having a lot of fun with this, so. Mm-hmm. I definitely need to build more uh, ships, though. I say as What's I build more pops. What's your fleet power? 42k. Well, I'm at 43k. 4.2k. Sorry. Well, I mean, I'm at 85 out of 130... Uh, naval capacity, uh, and it's just going to go up as I build more upgrades to space Damn. Boards. You guys have a lot of naval capacity. I need to upgrade. I'm at my... I'm maxed out on all my space ports. Can you get any more planets? I can get one more. I would go... I would go for it then. Incoming transmission. Construction. I'm just doing uh, um, non-aggression packs with everyone. <laughs> hmm. Eh, it's not a very good world. Ooh. Uh, science ship. I need. What are you doing? Where are you? Go survey that, please. No, I'm not trading star charts. Always with the star charts, jeez. Ah, you got into a non-aggressive pact. J I'm just like, if someone pops up and says, hey, non-aggression pact, I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Like I said, it's like no sweat off my back. Doesn't uh, prevent me from doing anything. Getting really pally with your fellow robots. Oh, of course. They're robots. Complete. System survey complete. Why wouldn't I get pally with my robots? The fellow robots. <laughs> I think there's one you don't get pally with. Um, I think I do have a non-aggression pact with the, the guy that you're thinking of. With the exterminators? Yeah. That, that, Damn. That... Hey, I mean... They don't care about me. I'm a robot. They like me.
I don't think they like the people you're friends with. Oh yeah, they 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 like me by uh, 175. Trust and uh, fellow machines. They like me. Wow. It's great. This is this is a great uh, um, map for being uh, robots. It really is. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead. And oh. Come on, minerals. Thank you. Where is a good spot? Is that actually the best spot? Oh boy, magnetic miracle on a world that it is worthless to get magnetic miracle on. Brand new world that gets physics, society, and engineering output plus 20%. Mmm. Mmm. I suppose I could just plop some guys on there. It works. I guess this is an okay spot. Eh, actually, it's probably better. See if I can get this done in time. Colony established. And another hey, colony. time to colonize another planet. Construction complete. Oh my! I uh, there's a uh, tile blocker that I don't have yet. <laughs> Go ahead and get over there. Give System me that. Survey. Oh, the uh, Jonasi, the Jonas Savants, uh, have, uh, they're no longer guaranteeing me. What did I do? Why you don't like me? Up. You're hanging out with meat bags. Oh, well, yeah, that's a, that's a given. They don't. Lavis has changed their uh, ethics. Oh dear, now they don't like me as much. I may be in trouble. Oh, I need to pause this for a second. Um, Custodian Protocol 628-2 activated. Message follows. Attention, synthetic civilization. Significant inefficiencies have been detected in your base code. In order to ensure your species' ability to... Con tribute to the custodian project extensive rewrites will be required we are prepared to initiate subspace code transmission upon positive confirmation to this message awaiting response we welcome the chance to improve our programming uh or they may not like that uh robot upkeep plus 10 percent um yeah no okay so i could make all of my guys more expensive and make them happy but no Get out of here. You're a robot. You don't care. Well, no, this is a fallen empire. I'm just, I, I just pissed off the fallen empire. Oh shit. Yeah. Everybody, distance yourself. We have to distance ourselves from all. Otherwise, the fallen empire is gonna kill us too. Oh, we're back. <laughs> oh, oh. I just got got a precursor discovery on the same world that I had a precursor discovery on before. Construction complete. Construction complete. All right. Let's see. When you're done there, come down here and get that, please. I would like to know where the Ute are. Hmm. Alright, let's build some more pops.
But yeah, the great Lavis Empire decided to change their entire government. So I had to, uh... And there's a federation that just formed. Oh, crap. Who is it between? Oh, okay. Probability engine, nice. Ah, one well, of my scientists died. Oh, that sucks. Oh, one of my scientists is a custom AI assistant. That is very nice. That is a really good uh, um, modifier. I'm I'm only getting it for the research speed, but still. Well, yeah, I mean, but that's that's pretty nice. The last the scientist I had died at the age of 108. A ripe old age. All right. Oh my lord, this is a lot of food on this world. Uh, I guess that's a good spot for it. Oh look, more atmospheric hallucinogens that will have absolutely no effect on us. <laughs> 